Today we took a day trip to Foley, Alabama, a cute little town close to the coast with a surprising number of things to do as a first time visitor. Our first stop was the Copper Kettle Tea Bar in downtown. This place is a hidden treasure, not just for their unique atmosphere, which feels like you've gone to your tea obsessed aunt's house, but most importantly, it feels like home. The staff were personable and kind, and the food was really, really well made with this home style presentation. We loved every second of it. They have an extensive list of teas served hot or iced, and honestly, I can't recommend this place enough. 10 out of 10, if you're in the Foley area, you've got to go to the Copper Kettle. Our second stop of the day was within walking distance to the Copper Kettle. We visited the Foley Railroad Museum. They have a full-size train right outside that you can actually walk through, as well as a room completely dedicated to model trains. I think we saw probably five people conducting the model trains seamlessly. The models were super cool, including sites like fire trucks putting out a fireworks store, a circus, a drive-in movie theater, and a power plant. The volunteers that they had working here were incredibly knowledgeable and super, super nice. They were willing to sit down and talk to us about the first trains in Foley and all of the model trains that they had on exhibit, as well as the tools that they used on actual railroads. We walked around the beautiful downtown area and checked out some local shops, and then we went to our next location, Oa. So, Owa apparently has two parts to it, the amusement park and the shopping area. We actually visited the shopping area to try out the groovy goat. But unfortunately, the front of the house staff were kind of rude and it was your typical loud, crowded sports bar. The food was okay, but not for the price point. We ordered calamari rings and tableside nachos. Both, again, were just okay and very overpriced. The tableside nachos also fed four people, so at least we got some leftovers out of it. And I will say that our waitress was incredibly kind, but she seemed a little stretched too thin. She probably had seven tables that she was working all at once. Honestly, I was really disappointed because I wanted it to be good, but unfortunately, I don't think it was worth it. Even though the Groovy Goat was kind of a disappointment, that sunset sure did make us smile. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!